All right, guys, we'll be doing some summer crappie fishing using Euro Tackle, the Micro Finesse B Vibe. This is a two inch swim bait. This is like the tiniest, tiniest swim bait ever. And I'm using their soft lock tungsten jig head. So it has a soft bead right here, kind of slides back and forth. And uh, the reason why they opt for that is if you want to remove your plastic instead of those other type of jigs that has a uh, little spiky, sharp, you know, protruding type of plastic locks, those rip your plastic if you take it out. But this is supposed to, uh, let's just do it. Supposed to keep it in place. And you still take it out if you want to. So I have the plastic, it kind of slides up. And all right, so I kind of smash it right into the plastic uh, bead. And as you see, I'm trying pulling it. It's, it's not really going down. I'm pulling from the end. So that's good. So uh, let's see if we catch some crappies today. I have four pound test line. I'm using my new BFS reel here. This is the GH100 from uh, Fish Band, which is like a copycat kinda of uh, Shimano Aldebaran, the BFS. Also, I saw a couple other Chinese reel that look very, very similar to this. So it's uh, interesting. Now the water is 78 degrees, the surface. I've been on the water rigging up for about 10 minutes. So I think, uh, I think it's pretty accurate for transducer. Just need to set up my reel properly and it should be good to go. I dropped it down to about two and a one click. You know what, I think I have the pink one right here, right? Do I? So this is the 1 32nd jig head and let's just compare size. So yeah, this is actually a 1 32nd ounce jig head so it's not gonna fly far. It'll be good enough. We're, we're fishing shallow water today. The only issue is I won't get the distance I want. Aha! First fish. I felt the whole rod shake. Bam! Oh, damn, he choked that one. He choked it. Look at that. You can't even see my lure anymore. Hey, 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 easy. All right, let me just take my D hooker. There we go. Small little guy. And you know what's most important? My bait's still on here. Got him. Oh yeah. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Ooh, look at that slap. Micro slab. All right, in you go. So guys, I identify a hump around here and um, it's, it has a drop off, steady drop off and there's some algae around the area. So I'm hoping there's a few more, maybe it's staggered around here. I had a few bites and that was the first one I hooked up. There's another one right there. Oh. It's getting a little more shallow here, but uh, let's see. I'm casting up in the wind. That's fish. Boom. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Got a bath. Look at him. What's up, buddy? E, E. Small guy. Thanks, needs love too, okay, guys? But in you go. Oh, that was a hit. Bam, got him. Panfish. Panfish. Let's go. Oh, yeah. I hear my brother. I hear his car. So I got to snap one photo and then release you back. Off you go, buddy. Off you go. Got him. Whoa, that's a good one. Good one. Good one. This time I am bringing you in. This time, hey, 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 easy. Oh, yeah. Look at that. 
Let me untangle it. All right. Almost double hooked them by accident. <laughs> oh, someone's firing their guns. Great. <laughs> All right. Don't want any stray bullets hitting me. Should probably get the hell out of here. Jeez Louise. Bam! Got him. All right. And they're about the same size, every single one, cookie cutter size. But uh, none of them are slabs. There you go. Oh, that was one. Bam, got him. Okay, this one's a little better. Definitely a little better. Actually, I need a picture like that. It's, it got a perfect hook set right there. Let me grab my phone. All right, buddy. In you go. Ties like these, they're kind of hiding in this. So. Uh-oh. Getting shallower. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Got a bass. little guy but he's fighting all right all right whoa 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 easy easy look at that he's nice and yellow oh he just came right off I didn't really have a good hook set on him but here you go back in you go but, oh that was one right there pie panfish uh, technically crappy is a panfish, but a sunfish. Let's see what happened here. Pull down just a little bit. This thing uh, taking a beating so far. I caught a lot of fish with just one plastic. Not too bad. I mean, it's super soft. It's so fragile that, like I said, if you use those other jigs, you're gonna destroy it by taking it apart. So if a fish bite onto that, it's gonna rip it. So having these soft bead jigs, it actually. It's a lot better, you know, not only that when it gets pulled down just a little bit, it slides with it. The bead slides with the lure. Interesting concept. Innovative. Let's see if there's anything in this cast. That's fish right there. Boom. Got him. Crappy. Oh no, came off. <laughs> Oops. Oh well. Can you guys hear this wind? I'm paddling against wind. You guys look at this chop. Freshwater chop, baby. It kind of feels like I'm in the back bays. I used to do a lot of saltwater fishing, but uh, I don't do that anymore. But man, <laughs> this is like just drifting for fish. It's kind of fun. Bam, got one. Feels like a sunfish. It is a sunfish. Look at that. And in you go. So guys, there's another reason why I like throwing these small swim baits and small grub tails, especially these uh, late spring, early summer. And that is because, oh man, he tore my tail up. But what I was gonna say is that these fish are feeding on stuff that just hatched and you want the lures as small as possible. And I find that the, the Euro Tackle, their ice fishing lures, they're just teeny tiny. Let's do this color here now. I believe we have some yellow perch here. Not a lot, not a lot at all, but uh, maybe this one will catch me some more fish. We'll see. I know we do have a lot of uh, bluegills, so the little yellow belly. We'll see if they actually like this one. So again, the soft lock right here, it slides back and forth. This allows your lures to slide back and forth too, so that when a bluegill or something, they peck at your lure, they don't rip the whole thing out. All right, I like to do this. Push it up, and there we go. Soft locked. Let's do it. Oh, what the 
Eric, come on. If it's big enough. Jesus Christ, don't yell like that. Oh yeah, look at that. Got big sunny. Big sunny. Whoa. Look at that. This is thick sunny. Thick. Whoa, what did I just pass? I'm gonna put this one back. Ahoy! What do we have here? Look at this bass! Oh, oh. Whoa! Oh. oh man, my rod bent all the way down. He's at the drop off. It's a mama. They're in the deep. I need to make sure that hook set is good because this is ultralight right here. Oh man. He's just swimming with my kayak. He's like, I ain't coming in. No, I casted it. Bam! Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Woo Look at that hook set right there. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Man, this is a good hook set. You can see that uh, it's done post spawn, so she's a little, a little hungry, I guess. But it's it's pretty good. Woo! All right. Yeah, about probably two and a half, a little skinny. <laughs> All right, in you go. Everybody's fishing structure right now. Well, channel is a structure too, guys. I was basically casting right into a, the drop off the channel and reeling into the drop off and boom, he just slammed it. I was like, oh man, I knew it was a big fish when it freaking hit it. Freaking beast. I'm gonna do what I normally don't do guys, which is fish pink, which is um, actually a great color. Uh, the reason why it's a great color is it's so fluorescent and when the UV lights hit this, it, it just shines so well. Fish can see it a mile away. Fish got different cones in their eyes, so they just perceive stuff a lot more different. So hopefully pink will do me well right now. The bass love the pink. The bass love the pink. Hey, hey, easy. In you go. Oh, ho, ho what do I have here? What a big bass. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. Oh, 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 look at the jump. Hey, 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 easy girl. Oh no, oh no. Look at her lip. I can't even lip her. I can't even lip her. Hold up guys. Uh, look at this, I can't even lip her. What's wrong with you? Oh man, yo, these people are bass fishing. You gotta take good care of the jaws. Look at this, poor girl. Oh my lord. Oh, I can't really lip you. Oh, that that sucks. Here, I gotta take a photo of this. Let's go on Instagram because I, I don't like this, guys. I really don't like this. Broken jaw. I wish I could do something for this fish. And this is not the first time I've seen this, especially like a uh, spawning season. Like a lot of people bed fish a lot and they destroy the mouth because they keep jacking the jaws non-stop. But this, I have no idea how this jaw got jacked like this. But look at that, that is just terrible. Someone probably jacked it really badly and they removed the hook wrong, totally wrong. Oh man, this, this, is, this is a shame. Terrible girl, man. Oh, I feel so bad for you. All right, I'm gonna put you back in. All right, in you go. I mean, it did hit the lure, so 
I'm sure I could be able to eat, but it's, I just feel terrible seeing that. All right, guys, that was pretty fun day playing with the Euro Tackle, their B Vibe, their two inch ultra finesse swim bait. Caught a lot of different fish using different colors. And especially during this time where like storms are rolling in and out, as you see, it's so windy today. I'm sure you guys have heard in the audio. These fish are not really committed to big fish, big baits, or you know, big, big lures. So you gotta finesse fish them. And a couple more things, a lot of these fish are not even in the structure. Like uh, a couple boaters came in, they were fishing like these, uh, the edges, the lily pads. They were actually in the channel. As you see, I marked the channel many times, drifting back and forth, catching these fish. But the wind has picked up. I'm gonna go have some lunch with my brother. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go catch some more fish afterwards. So thank you for watching. If you guys wanna see me use this lure to catch more different species, I'm thinking about trout, maybe even smallmouth bass. But I don't know, you guys leave me a comment below and let me know. Thank you for watching, tight lines.